Hello my fellow weirdos, welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are doing a monthly wrap up, this time for the month of July and I did pretty damn good. Don't know what that, that accent was but we're just going to carry on like I didn't do it at all. So uh, I managed to read quite a large selection of books, I'm genuinely proud of myself. Um, I've been feeling a bit, um, a bit low lately, haven't been doing very well and um, reading has been a really great way to kind of get out of my own head. Um, sometimes when I get in one of those moods I struggle to actually read or have any motivation but lately reading is something that I find genuinely like really helpful so I'm very grateful for all these books and all these authors for helping me along through a rubbish period. So anyway let's just dive right in okay. First up we have my book for this month's gothic horror read along. If you haven't seen it already I'll put the link to my video down below but every month this year I will be reading a different horror classic or rereading a different horror classic and this time I was rereading Strange Case of Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. As you can see it is a quick read and we all know what it's about. It's about uh, the Dr Jekyll who runs some experiments and then accidentally creates um, a second version of himself activated through his uh, potion and that second version is all the badness from within him, all of the hate and anger and evil uh, that lurks within all of us and it's literally the struggle between the two individuals for command of the body. It is a fantastic read. I always recommend this as one of the gothic horror classics that we should all all read. It's fantastic. Pick it up. Always gonna be five out of five for something like that. Next up we have Broken Rock by Deep Arya. I was kindly sent this by the author to uh, give a fair uh, review to. Genuinely enjoyed this one. It is set on a lighthouse where a journalist has come to write an article about it. This lighthouse has uh, recently in the war effort, um, we're set, it's, it's set in World War II, it has um, assisted with um, protecting ships, our own ships and getting rid of enemy ships in the area by being a lookout for them and um, this journalist is kind of doing a bit of a fluff piece on it. It's famous for having a really dark history. A bunch of young couples at one point threw themselves all off the rock all in one day, like tons of them, so it had a bit of a reputation for not being the nicest of places, for having something weird and eerie about it. Um, so yes it's got a kind of mystery about it. Um, and some seismic activity at one point meant that a lot of the coastline fell into the sea but this rock that has the lighthouse on it remained and so did the lighthouse. So it's kind of like it's got something going on around it that the journalist thinks is going to be um, an interesting story but unfortunately it turns out to be a horror show basically. Uh, Deep Arya likes to read write about the kind of old ones, the Lovecraftian type uh, monsters that exist in the world between worlds and the folds and this um, lighthouse, this rock. It's kind of like one of those little areas where the the, the difference between the two worlds is, is, is a lot thinner and these things are able to break through. It's a really good read, a lot of action, um, lots of horror. <laughs> Um, I would give it a solid three and a half out of five. It's a really good, um, fun, quick read. Negative points again, and I've said this to Deep before because we chat and he's a really lovely guy, so I recommend that you follow him. I don't like the way that he spells out um, the noises that he makes. He uses like, you know, if it's something goes bang, goes bang, and that, that bothers me. It just kind of takes me out of the text. But he has actually done that for the, the following books. He's taken my my uh, critique on board, so I'm excited to read. This is actually going to be part of um, a series of books where they're all interconnected um, and I'm really excited to read all the rest. Okay, Next up we have The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Laval. This was part of my um, attempt to read more diverse horror reads. I'll link the video down below um, where I sort of list off a bunch of really fantastic black horror authors. This was on the list for one of the ones that I really wanted to read. It is about, um, it's kind of Lovecraftian as well, it's about a hustler who um, gets embroiled in something way out of his league, something involving the old ones, the old gods, when this old rich gentleman is kind of offering him the chance to be a part of 
bringing one of the old ones back to the fold to take over the world. I've already done a deep dive review of this um, so I don't want to go into it much too much but I really enjoyed it. Another very quick read and I would give it five out of five. Very very good. I love anything Lovecraftian. It really just sort of suits my temperament. Next up we have Mallory by Josh Mallerman. This is the follow-up to the massive and critically acclaimed Bird Box. I've done a deep dive review. It's already been featured guys so you know what I think about it. I'm not going to go into too much detail but I did love it. It's definitely a big four out of five for me. I marked it down slightly for a couple of issues that I had but they aren't that bad. It is a fantastic sequel. We follow on with Mallory and now her children who are teenagers in the world of these creatures where they continue to live by the fold which is what they call people who continually wear their, their blindfolds no matter what. Her children are at the stage where they don't think that surviving is really living, that they want to do more than just survive and all she cares about is keeping them safe and there's kind of like the, the loggerheads with that and it's a kind of growing up story with her um, children and it's kind of coming age story exploration, exploration of humanity, human nature but in a very extreme and effed up horror setting. 4 out of 5, definitely recommend it, especially if you liked the first Burt Box. If you haven't read it, read it please, it's so good, and then read this one. I'll put the link to my deep dive review for it as well. Then we had Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Um, again, I've done a deep dive review of this, guys. I'll put the link to the video down below, but I love this book so much. 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5. I would give it a 1,000 out of 5 if I could. It is your classic gothic horror tale set in Mexico. Slightly more modern twist, it's like set in the 40s, 50s. Um, but we have a young woman whose cousin had a bit of a scandalously quick marriage and has gone off to this estate with this new partner who's old money but actually there is no money anymore, it's more like standing and name, that's all we've got left to offer. She has money on the other hand and she sends a letter through to the uncle, this girl's father, which is just ravings and sounds like she's having some kind of nervous breakdown and it um, the, he asks the cousin to go, the main character, to kind of try to convince the family and the husband to let her come and see a psychiatrist and when she gets there she realises that there may be something to her ramblings, that there's something really wrong with the house and something really wrong with the family. If you like Crimson Peak, read this, 5 out of 5, and watch my deep dive review if you're interested in it, it's fantastic. You'll see how much I loved it in the review. Then I got two ebooks. I had Unboxed by Brianna Morgan. It is an, actually a play and it is about a gentleman who has a YouTube channel where he did, um, does like spooky kind of paranormal stuff and he decides to unbox one of those um, dark web boxes, you know, I think they are actually real and I think I've seen some of them on here but you order a box from the dark web and you've no idea when it's going to be inside it and it's a lot of it's probably just fake but it could be something really effed up, you've no idea what you're buying and some of them are quite expensive and he spends a, a fortune on this box and it comes with a curse, a demon, with something that begins to um, haunt him and his partner. Um, no spoilers, don't want to spoil it but it is a really good read and I definitely recommend it. I'll put a link to that down below as well as Brianna's page because she is such a lovely person and her books are brilliant. She kindly sent me that in exchange for a review recommend it all day long. Then we have The Blackening by Sean O'Connor. Again this was sent to me by the author. I loved this book. Unboxed I would say would be a 4 out of 5. Um, then The Blackening is going to be a 4 out of 5 for me as well. This is set in Iceland where we have a Northern Irish person. Yay! Um, on holiday with his fiance and the fiance gets dragged into a cave by some kind of black entity. And the local police uh, don't believe him. The, local, the main chief of police in the area is actually um, an Irish man. And um, he doesn't believe him. The Irish man's an old colleague dealing with his own issues. And it turns out that there is something in the cave, something that is awakening and something that needs to feed, that needs to breed. And um, it is coming whether the police believe it or not. And it's kind of then the these people, the ones that start to realize something is happening um, versus everyone else going are you mental there's nothing wrong and the tourists who are there for the northern lights and as you can imagine there's a bit of carnage and it's brilliant and um, I really really enjoyed it it was a really quick read because it's very quick and absorbing I, I got into it straight away just even he was like oh my god you read that quickly because I couldn't put it down to be honest I just wanted to know what happened 
really really enjoyable so yeah four out of five for that as well definitely recommend sean and his books i'll put the link to him down below as well he's also a lovely guy i get to meet so many lovely authors so that's it guys that is um my wrap up for january i mean what is that one two three four five six like seven books i'm all right with that i'm good with that that's more than usual <laughs> go me go team um, if you've read any of the books, please let me know in the comments down below what you thought. I always like to hear your um, opinions and your recommendations. You guys never steer me wrong. And uh, that's it for now. If you could subscribe, I would love you forever. Hit the bell button so you never miss out on any of my videos. And that's me for now. Bye.